UATV would like to thank Hungry Howie's for their continuous support and delicious pizza. Visit them online at HungryHowie's.com. Strong evidence of water on Mars, Olympic-sized pools of salty water, have been found by a group of scientists, including two from the U of A, Dr. Alfred McEwen and Matt Shinaki. They found streaks in photos of the surface of Mars that would run downhill slopes and fade in the cold and dry seasons, just as water would. Ten years ago, the U of A sent up HiRISE, the highest resolution telescope ever sent to another planetary body. So water on Mars has been discussed in previous uh, publications and announcements and that is usually due to uh, the evidence of ancient water. Here we're talking about uh, current water on Mars that's seeping out of the surface that we can observe in images that were taken weeks ago. Um, you have to remember that Mars has less than uh, one percent of the Earth's atmosphere. It's drier than any any, any of the driest places on Earth, um, and it, the water there just um, up until five years ago, we just didn't think it could ever exist on the surface. This whole discovery began five years ago when Luju Uwaiju, a U of A undergrad at the time, worked here as a digital terrain model specialist. His job was to take photos from high rise and essentially create topographical maps of Mars, the same maps we use to go hiking. While doing this, he discovered dark streaks in the photos, also known as reoccurring slope lineae, and found they might be associated with water. You can see these dark streaks more clearly, and you can see in one image, it's kind of like a thicker, dark streak but then it splits off later on so we see these things happening over the courses of like weeks days months but something that's interesting about these is that they disappear and then they come back at a different time of year so this is actually the water that's seeping up it's really cool um, we get to see a lot of images that not many people have seen and we're some of the first people to like start processing all of the data it is really exciting I mean this is something that many scientists have speculated on. We have found many other sort of hints of evidence of this sort of past liquid environment on Mars. You never know what you're going to find when you're staring at the surface of Mars for eight hours a day. <laughs> High rise is estimated to have fuel for about another 10 years, which is hopefully enough time for even greater discoveries about the red planet. Reporting from the University of Arizona for Wildcast, I'm Toby Schmidt.